Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Warden and welcome to this product review of Ammo's Sanding Sticks. Now we've got a nice couple of sanding sticks here in their range, I've got them all in, but uh, you're going to find this is a bit of a mixed review because some of them I wouldn't use, some of them I'm going to adopt as my new sanding sticks. So let's get started, right, so first off I'm going to start off with these cool sort of skinny type sticks. If we just get them out, it's a nice set, this one. It's um, about £5.25. Now I got these from Perton Model Shop, so prices may vary wherever you go, but um, not a bad price for a nice couple of skinny type sticks. Now we do have all sorts of grits with these. I mean, we've got 180s, 120, 240, 320, um, 1,200 to 1,500. A nice set of skinny sticks. Pretty much all you're gonna need in modeling except for what they sell separately. What they sell separately is like this kind of canopy Type, type skinny stick, right? These kind of grits is what you want for canopies. So, you know, if you go off and spend an extra £2.25, you know, you've pretty much got every sand and stick you need for um, scale modeling in a skinny stick form. Um, now, these are pretty similar to, um, so we say, the flurry models type skinny sticks they are quite similar but in all honesty i do i just kind of like the it's just got this little added extra of like you know one end we can sort of get to one size and we've got another size the other end that is basically it apart from that you know all good and it does nicely print on i do like it when they do sort of print on what grit they are so you can easily you know pick up what grit you want apart from that you know really really good definitely a big thumbs up for those sanding sticks and as i say this is a bit of a mixed review because um, we do have this sanding stick as well from Ammo. This one's about £2.50, not a bad price, but it's a kind of a, shall we say, an almost a all singing, all dancing sanding stick. It seems to have everything you need all in one sanding stick, which in principle is a nice idea. It does sound kind of cool. You know, you can, it even has this nice idea of sort of going step one into step two over to step three four five and six you know it kind of almost guides you through the different sanding grits to you know sand away your model the only thing is is as much as the idea is good i just find in practice and practical work that it's not really ideal all right what i mean by this is because we have um, basically a sanding stick on the walls. If we kind of do step one here, um, yes, I mean, it is a spun, sponge sanding stick to go with a curve, but because we've got these walls, as you can see, we're gonna be sort of hitting that sort of step four there, it's hitting the side there, and step five's hitting the side there, and it just feels big and it feels bulky, and um, yeah, I, I kind of wouldn't re recommend this one in all honesty. It's just a nice idea, but a bit bulky and uh, not really sort of ideal. Um, next one I'm going to bring up is this one. This one I'm sort of half and half in between this one, whether or not it's a good sanding stick or not. It is big and bulky again, right? And the grits they do suggest on these, right, um, is kind of... It's almost sort of like you would use for canopies. I mean, it does say that step three is a 4,000 grit, um, what you'd use for doing canopies, right? But I do think that some of these sanding sticks, the grits aren't what they say they are, right? Um, you know, for something like this, you could start from step one, two, and three, and it should really be kind of working through your canopy to, to sort of work on it. You know, we have step one here, Right, so just say you've got like a seam line going down there that you have on some of those Tamiya kits and has a go of kits, and then you'd work your way to step two. But the thing is, I mean, when you finally get to the 4,000 grit, and it just does not feel like a 4,000 grit to me, this on their skinny sticks, the white side, that's a 4,000 grit, and that feels like a 4,000 grit, but this one doesn't. So um, as much as um, from what I'm seeing, this is like meant for canopies, right? If I just give this a, a good, 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 good sanding, right? I mean, it just doesn't seem to shine up. You probably 
can see that on, on camera there it's just not polishing up the canopy of what a 4000 grit should do so it's not doing what it says um, I can get out the 4000 grit here which is this side here and I just know that if I just quickly sort of give this a polish up I mean hopefully you can see it on camera right I mean it is it is getting there all right hopefully you can just see that sort of polishing that up quite nicely I mean it's a bit rough at the moment because I haven't given a good job but it does polish that up like you would expect a 4000 grit to do um, but this one doesn't so um, although it doesn't do what it says on the tin it's still kind of nice to use it for things like canopies but you know you're gonna have to come in with a proper sort of 4000 grit to, to finish it off but it does kind of work your way through the grits get scratches off and gets marks off good for sort of smoothing out paint work and stuff um, it's probably one I wouldn't use very often but for only £2.25 just to have it there when you need it just remember what it says on the tin isn't what it is um, I'm gonna do another one this is one I don't like either um, if they say this is their standard now with this i mean again what they say the grit is is just not what it is on here trust me um they say step one is a where's step one this is step one they say this step one here is supposed to be a 180 grit and i can go off and pick up their 180 grit skinny stick style thing it just does not feel like it and i can go through step one two and three and they just don't feel like the grits they say they are um and it just i don't know and it's i just don't like the whole you know when i sand i mean yes yeah, sometimes we sand like this but sometimes we kind of go like this and when we do that and when they half and half a sanding stick you could be get you could be sanding your your, your piece with like two different grits um i don't like those kind of thing you know i know it's kind of cool to maybe sort of you know revolutionize sort of sanding sticks and sort of go hey you know here's like two three four sanding sticks in one but really i'd rather have you know three or four sanding sticks and it just be kind of sort of nice and simple that way so i don't like that one in all honesty but this one i really do like this is their they call their these their contour sanding sticks but it's um how much is this it's only two pound 25 um you get these really nice inky dinky little sort of sanding sticks right now um again i'm i probably won't see myself using these very often but already with the avenger step-by-step -step video build i'm doing at the moment i've already been using them in that to get into hard to reach places with ejector pin marks and stuff they're so nice and dinky and flat and small you know you can really get into so many nice places so i wouldn't use them much but they are you know a lifesaver if you ever need them so all in all um you know i do like basically all these skinny stick style stuff i do like these contour style sanding sticks all the different grits you pretty much need um this one i'd can't i'd, I'd still get it but i mean it's not a, a big one the rest i'm sorry but you know i wouldn't really recommend them apart from that these are definitely well recommended here at genesis models so hopefully you've liked that little quick sort of product review um you know whether you want to go out and buy them or not i don't know but um hopefully i've helped you decide so until next time as always my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed